Welcome back. Losing weight and feeling great really goes well beyond the gym. It starts when you walk into that grocery store. It's all about reading labels and making good decisions. As we continue our trip up and down the aisles of HEB with lifetime fitness trainer and former pro rugby athletic coach Edgar Curtis, here's a reminder of what to watch out for. High fructose corn syrup and hydrogenated vegetable oil. The corn syrup converts to fat quickly, and the hydrogenated oil, or partially hydrogenated oil, is trans fat. And the high fructose. And if that's not enough to steer you clear of these ingredients, here's what else Edgar has to say. The problems associated with high fructose corn syrup, well, it causes hormonal and chemical changes in your blood, making you hungrier. Studies show it affects your insulin and leptin response. That's the hormone that tells your brain you are full. It increases bad cholesterol increases appetite and calorie intake leading to weight gain, also causes high blood pressure and can cause abnormal liver function. Partially hydrogenated. As for the trans fat, Edgar says each time you eat it, your risk of diabetes and cancer goes up. It also makes you more prone to injury and premature aging. Good reason to take action and steer clear of these two very dangerous ingredients. You should be able to look on the back. Let's take a look at these ingredients. Is it okay? Isn't it okay? From certain wheat breads to tortillas, croutons, and even deli meats, these two so-called toxins are everywhere. You don't want something that's got brown sugar added if you don't need it. In fact, if you really want to make change, Edgar says, go for the natural everything. The fewer the ingredients, the better. For meat, that means no hormones and no antibiotics, like this ground bison or natural chicken. We're talking all natural, nor, no hormones, no antibiotics, which is in a lot of other meats. H-E-B natural, great. No added hormones ever, no antibiotics ever, always vegetarian fed. That's, you know, that's about as good as you can get. For ground turkey, pay very close attention. Make sure you get the ground turkey that says breast. A lot of times when you get ground chicken or ground turkey, they include the skin in the grind. Yeah, nasty. Why is natural better? Edgar says it breaks down better. And that hormones and preservatives in your body can actually cling to your fat, making it more difficult to break down. And because of this poisoning, our body can no longer break down the foods that we're putting into it. And moms, in the kids' lunch section, Edgar says beware, high fructose corn syrup is everywhere. A good snack choice instead, these low moisture mozzarella cheese sticks. Great, ingredients are good. We actually have something that passes. The cereal aisle, more red flags for high fructose corn syrup. Good choices, Barbara's Puffins, or Edgar's favorite, Ezekiel, which is full of sprouted grains. Because it's very complex, it won't all absorb at once. And because it takes longer to absorb, it's like eating multiple meals. That means it's less likely to be stored as fat. For snacks, he says, try these TLC bars. Craving pancakes, Edgar says, no problem. Only if you go natural with real maple syrup and buckwheat natural pancake mix, not the other stuff. That's like drinking high fructose corn syrup. For butter, Edgar says, go with the real stuff, like this Danish butter. Again, few ingredients, safer for your body. But he says, watch out for the others. Water vegetable oil brand, blend. <gasps> Hydrogenated. Yeah, that's what you've got to be careful with. Edgar says, just because it looks safe, doesn't mean it is. You'd think natural yogurt, vegetable oil spread, that's got to be good for you. And last but not least of surprises, the spray on salad dressing. It sounds like a dieter's dream until you take a closer look at this wishbone dressing. Yes, high fructose corn syrup. It's so disappointing when you see this. It's like you've been duped by companies. Yeah, it's sort of like the, you know, they market it as, oh, this is so healthy, it's so good for you, and it has those bad ingredients and in so it. many people have stopped me and said how are they allowing and you even asked how do they allow this the yeah. FDA is allowing companies to now roll down on the amount they have of trans fat so they just if 15 crackers had one gram of trans fat as long as it has 0.5 or less they can say they have no trans fat so now they're just changing their serving size from 15 to 7 so it's so like you're eating crackers all day and, and you don't think you're getting trans fat and you are it's like having okay one cigarette may not be bad for you but you have a whole pack and it's going to keep getting worse and worse for your body so the goal is, Edgar says, if people start buying what is actually healthy, the fewer ingredients, maybe these companies will start listening, they'll change their products and start producing things that are better for our body. But P I know it costs money, money. Yeah. And, and money does talk. So hopefully there is a list, though. I know people say also, what's left I can, that 